Hi, welcome to All Brands After Hours with me, your host, Courtney Dowden. Welcome to the show where we usually hang out and craft together, but today I'm going to be helping you figure out which scan and cut is best for you. Let's do this. Now I know there's a lot of scan and cuts out there and it can get a bit confusing. When I first started, I was very confused of what model I needed to get. And way back then, we didn't have some of these models that had auto blades. And that is something you're gonna hear me talk about quite a lot because I love the scan and cut auto blades. Now to help you eliminate some of the scan and cuts right out of your brain, because this is something that I really, a lot of people get stuck on is the different SKUs, the different models. There are CM machines and there are SDX machines. The difference between those is CM is pre-auto blade, where an SDX has an auto blade. What is an auto blade? An auto blade is when a the blade comes down and automatically detects how thick a material is to only cut through that material. So there is no setting your pressure, setting your blade settings, there's none of that. That has been completely taken out. Brother has completely discontinued the CM model, so that's not even something I usually tell people to go towards, plus auto blade is awesome. So CM models, you might see a CM 350, 550, uh, CM 680, all uh, 650, all those different ones, those are previous, those are older models. So I would go ahead and say, just X those right out of your brain and put them away because those are years and years old. So we're gonna focus on the SDX models. The SDX are all auto blades and there are so many. You'll see the XDX85, the XDX125E, the XDX225, 230s, 325, 330s, there's so many. And I know I have a lot of friends that are international and we'll go over that later as well. The 225 and the 230 are previous models as well. But Courtney, you said CMs were. Yeah, we've had a lot of scanning cuts. But for what we do, I usually stick to the newest models. So the 325 and the 330 in my head replace the 225 and the 230. It has additional features and stuff like that. Now, that being said, could I probably find a 225 or 230 online randomly somewhere if someone has one or two last in stock? Yeah, probably. Brother did replace those. So if you randomly find one, that's great. So they did replace those models. And usually in my head, I go to the newer models because I want, I know it's going to have more features than the previous one. And a lot of times it's around the same price. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the newest ones that have the newest feature because I don't want to feel like I bought a machine and then two seconds later, there was a replacement and I didn't buy it. And I got the older model for almost the same price that I could have just got the newer model that had more features and more built-in designs. So that is personally up to you. But in my head, I completely take away the 225 and the 230. Now, are they good machines? Absolutely. Do I still have my 225? Yes, absolutely. She's over there and I use her a lot. But for what we're doing to break down the machines, we're gonna go ahead and stay with current model machines. Before I jump into a full on comparison chart, because yes, of course I did a comparison chart, I want you to ask yourself a few questions. What is important to you? What features are important to you? Because all the different scan and cuts, they're all scan and cuts, they all scan, they all cut. Why is there so many different ones? That's because of the features. Every single one has different features that another one doesn't, or it has a feature on a few models, but not on another model. So usually I tell people is to write down the features that are important to you. But Courtney, I don't even know what features I need to even be looking for. What do I do? Well, I'm gonna walk you through that. Something that I always ask people right off the bat to help them eliminate some machines in their head is, is Disney important to you? Disney, what? Is the mouse being in the house important to you? If it is having built in Disney designs and all the princesses and cars and everything like that, if that's important to you, well then you're gonna look at a Disney model. So in this case, it would be an XDX 330 would be important to you. Okay, well what if I don't care about Disney? Well then you don't need to worry about him and you can look at the other machines like a SDX 85, 125, or 325. Well Courtney, what if, I, if Disney is not a make it or break it for me? Okay, well that's fine. We're gonna look at different features. And I usually say to look at the features that you absolutely have to have instead of looking at features that you are okay with. Like, okay, if it has Disney on it, that's great. If it doesn't, I don't really care. Well, there's a lot of features that you might feel that way. So look for the ones, instead of asking yourself what you care about not having, look for what you do care about having to make sure that your machine is on there. There's no point in looking at a machine if it doesn't have your deal breaker features that you have to have on there. So another deal breaker feature for me personally is it has to be able to do a 12 by 24 mat. 
So all the Scanna Cuts come with a 12 by 12, but I wanna do a 12 by 20 format, so double the size this way. Well, certain machines can't do that. So like an SDX 85 can't do that, an SDX 125E can't do that. It can use a 12 by 20 format, but it cannot scan a 12 by 20 format. What? <laughs> yes, so that feature isn't available. So if that's something that I want, which I personally do want, I wanna be able to scan huge things if I want to, well, then that's something that I would have to keep in mind and an 85 and a 125 wouldn't be the right machines for me, a 325 or a 330 would be. Another one would be screen size. What, screen size, don't they look the same? On these two, yes, but on an 85, an SDX 85, that screen is a 3.75 if I'm remembering correctly, where these machines right here are five inches. Now, Courtney, why is that even important? Well, if you're doing a lot of onboard editing because they are standalone machines, yes, they have Brother Canvas software, but we don't have to use it if we don't want to. I could just use this screen right here to edit, so I would prefer a bigger screen. Now, if you're not gonna do a lot of onboard editing, well, then send it over to Canvas Workspace that can work with all the machines, which is Brother's software they give you for free. Well, then that wouldn't matter to you, but I'm gonna do a lot of onboard editing. I'd like just to be able to do it all in one, so a five inch screen makes more sense. So a 125, 325, and 330 would make more sense for me. Now, Courtney, what if I'm doing a lot of appliques? Well, which one should I do? Being able to read a Brother PES would be very important to me. And an 85 and a 125 can't do that. Yes, you could buy additional software to be able to do that, but they can't do it built in. So a 325 and 330 would make more sense to me. So that's something I always highly recommend is finding your deal breakers. Those are just a few examples of personal deal breakers that I have, but again, you could find your own. If you're like, oh, a lot of built-in designs make more sense to me. Or, hey, I don't really care about built-in designs because I can scan anything in because they're scanning cuts. Okay, well then that makes sense. So it's really personal to what you want to do. So let's go over the comparison chart. Now this is our comparison chart. She has got a lot of information. So let's break them all down. Underneath standard SDX features, you'll see five inch LCD touchscreen display. What that is, is the actual area of the display and remember how earlier we talked about the only ones out of the four of these that did not have that five inch was the xdx 85 it is much smaller i think it's a 3.47 the next line is blade sensor technology this means auto blade and all of the four of these have auto blade way to go guys the line after that is wireless network ready, which means that you can hook this up to your Wi-Fi. You could send designs wirelessly from your computer to your machine very, very easily. So all four of these have that. Speaking of wireless, our next one is wireless connection via PC, tablet, or mobile. And if you notice, all four of these have that. There are a few little caveats with the 85 that is kind of like a workaround that you have to do it, but technically it does have it. So they include that. The next one is Canvas Workspace PC-based application. That's just Canvas Workspace, the free software that Brother gives you to go along with your scan and cut to do editing. So if you didn't want to do just onboard editing, you would have Canvas Workspace that you could do it on your PC. Very, very helpful. I love it. And of course, all the scan and cuts can use that. And speaking of Canvas, of course, you can do direct data transfer via USB cable on Canvas Workspace, which just means that from the USB cable, you can send designs from Canvas Workspace to your scan and cut, and all four of them can do that. Next one is maximum object readability, and that is just a funny way of saying DPI. DPI means dots per inch. The more dots per inch that you have in a design, the better you can actually see it, the higher the resolution is. So the higher the DPI, the better, the crisper the image is. So if you notice the XDX85 only has a 600, as well as the XDX125 only has a 600. But when you go up to the XDX325 and 330, that jumps up to 900. So your DPI has now jumped up by 50%, which is insanely awesome. So an even better image. All right, so we're gonna scroll down this comparison chart to the next one, which is 24 inch scan function. If you notice the XJX85 and the XJX125 do not have that feature that allows you to use a 24 inch scanning mat on either of those machines. So you would be able to cut a 24 inch, but you would not be able to scan in a 24 inch, like how you can do on an XJX325 and XJX330. The next one is PES file import capability. This is where it gets a little tricky because if you notice the XDX85 and XDX125 have a little caveat. 
It does not have a check mark saying that it is available, but they are trying to, in my opinion, upsell some software. So no, not on the actual machine. It's not built in where you can read, your machine can read a PES file to convert it into an applique for you to cut out. They're saying, hey, if you buy PES4, some other software, and combine that software, it could help you to get there. But those softwares are usually almost a thousand dollars or five hundred you know dollars and just to be able to do that one feature and pay that much money for a software uh i would prefer just to have it already built into my machine but they are trying to give you a workaround that way but it is very costly for some of those uh softwares like pe design 11 is i think they say about 2000 around that now on the flip side of that though if you already had these softwares well then hey you don't need a built in you already have the software so it's just an additional step that you would have to do instead of it having built in you just go through your software to do that and that also includes the PES file embroidery stitch line detection which is just it finding the line of your app okay that's all that is and of course the 325 and 330 both have both of those lines built in Alrighty, now we're getting to the built-in designs. The total built-in designs for these machines. So let's start with the SDX85. That has 251 built-in designs, and that is nothing to frown at because that is a lot of built-in designs. All right, the next one, the XDX125, has 682 designs built in. The XDX325 has 1,303 built-in, so quite a jump. And then the XDX330 has 1,485 built-in designs. That is a lot of designs to already have ready in your back pocket. Very cool. Alrighty, the next one is built-in one, one-point designs. Now, most people just think these are the designs that you can use for drawing, but I actually use them for embossing as well. I kind of use them for both. So not only are these drawing designs, these are embossing designs. So let's start off with the XDX85 has none of these built-in. Alrighty, and so that makes it kind of easy. The XDX125 has 582 of these built-in. The XDX325 has 1,000. 163 built in and the xdx 330 has 1163 built in as well now if you're confused like courtney why didn't that number change it's the same number from 325 to the 330 technically yes because they did not include the one point designs that are disney those are in a whole different tier at the bottom so they did not include those so technically yes there are more one point uh designs but they're all disney the next feature, which is actually one of my favorite features, is built-in quilt block designs. These are built-in, ready to use, ready to resize, to do whatever you want with them, quilt designs. The XDX85 does not have any of these built-in. This is probably why I've never owned one, because I absolutely adore doing this. So the XDX125 has 100, and that's something to frown about. That's 100. The XDX325 has 140, and the XDX330 also has 140 built-in. Now we go down to Disney built-in designs. These are a dealer exclusive. What does that mean? Because you have to go to an authorized brother dealer, like all brands, to even be able to purchase this machine. So the built-in Disney designs, there are 182 in the 330. If you notice the XDX85, the XDX125, and the XDX325 doesn't have any of these lit up. They are only for the XDX. 330 machine now next after that is roll feeder disney designs there are 25 built-in roll feeder designs if you notice we have not talked about roll feeders at all in this whole thing because this is the only machine that has them built in the only way to get these designs other than this way is to be able to go on camera's workspace and make them yourself or to get the roll feeder attachment and a few designs do come with the roll feeder attachment Alrighty, next one is Disney applique designs. And these are actually really, really cool and I've used them a ton uh, to make Disney appliques. So it's already sized and everything beautifully for you. And there are 30 of these built into the machine ready for you to make some custom Disney shirts for your next Disney trip or just to have because they're fun. So let's play a fun little game. We're going to put things in the skin and cuts head to head to figure out which one works for us. Now we can do it a few different ways so that way not all of them are always going to come out in the end to which one makes the most sense for you. So, so let's start. 
let's say Sally's deal breakers are she has to be able to convert her PES designs to do her appliques. She wants a ton of built-in quilt designs because she's going to be doing some sewing and she wants to get as many built-in appliques as she possibly can because again she's going to be doing a lot of sewing. She's going to be making a lot of custom stuff on this machine that is mostly you know cutting fabric. The machine I would suggest for her is the SDX 330. Now, why am I at machine? Because it's got the most built-in appliques because it also includes those Disney appliques. It's got a ton of built-in quilt blocks. It's got the functions to be able to do a PES convert. Also, it comes with the rotary blade and the rotary blade and fabric are made together. This is the only machine that comes with the rotary blade. Yes, you can buy the rotary blade separately in a kit, but not all skin and cuts can use it. This one can as well as the XDX 325. But for what she's wanting, I would suggest the 330. Alrighty, our next person is gonna be Betty. Betty really wants to do a lot of onboard editing. She doesn't really wanna do software. She's not really a software kind of girl. So she wants a big old screen to be able to do her editing. She, she wants as large as she can so she can see it. She also, since she is doing a lot of onboard editing, wants to make sure she's getting the best resolution to the DPI. So she really wants that to be high. She also wants a ton of built-in designs because again, she doesn't want to mess with any softwares and you know what she's not really sure she wants to scan stuff in even though it's a scan and cut betty come on girl so what machine would we suggest for betty the sdx 325 now why the 325 courtney because she wants a big screen so the 125 325 or 330 would automatically go up in my head but she wants that DPI, that resolution to be high. Well, then she needs to look at a 325 or a 330 because those are the only ones with the 900, but the other ones have 600. So she also wanted a bunch of built-in designs. So that makes me think 325, not 330 because she didn't say anything about Disney. Now the last person didn't say anything about Disney, I know, but she was gonna do a lot of appliques and I know that the 330 has additional Disney appliques. So that's why. Alrighty, and our last girl is Belinda. Belinda wants to start doing some scan and cut things. She's never really done scan and cut before and she wants to start dipping her toes in it. Now, Belinda's really interested in vinyl. She doesn't really care much for fabric. So she's really wanting to make sure she can do some like vinyl cups or things like that that she's seen. Belinda is on a budget, okay? She is a frugal girl, but she wants to start dipping her toes into it. So she's really more interested in scanning in designs that she finds online than, uh, actually built-in designs. I mean, those are cool and all, but she's really, really interested in about scanning things in to make custom cups. So what would we select for Belinda? I would actually select the SDX 85. Courtney, why? Because she was saying she didn't really care about the built-in designs. She wanted to do cups, which tells me that it, it's okay if it doesn't have a ton of built-in designs because she still has a scanner. If she's doing something small like cups, then it doesn't matter if it does a 24 inch scanning mat because she's not gonna be scanning in anything that large. So the 12 by 12 would do her just fine. She's also interested in doing vinyl. She doesn't really care about fabric. And the SDX 85 only comes with the black auto blade. So again, that would be perfect for vinyl. It's not super great for fabric, but she's not gonna be doing fabric. So then she's good. And it's also the cheaper out of all four of them. So she's on a budget and that will get her by just fine with her budget. I hope this comparison helped. If you have your questions, of course, put them down below and I'd be happy to answer them about any of the skin and cuts. And remember, I am an unbiased source. I don't work for brother. So these are just, I really love skin and cuts. If you can't tell about the amount of skin and cuts that I have, this not even all of them. It's a habit. <laughs> Now, these scan cuts are available on our website, allbrands.com. We are a small family business since 1976, and we truly, truly enjoy this. And now, once you've picked your scan and cut, I always recommend to travel on back over to us on our YouTube and Facebook accounts because we do a ton of free education on the scan and cuts. We want you to be able to learn them and have a lot of fun because no matter what model you get, you're gonna have a great time and create a lot of wonderful things. So make sure you like and subscribe. That way you don't miss any of this free education that we do. And we love doing this free education for you guys. So again, if you are looking for any of the Scan and Cut accessories, machines, anything like that, you can find them on our website, allbrands.com or in any of our seven retail stores. Thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. Let me know if you want me to do even more comparison videos and I'd be happy to do that. Y'all have a good night. Bye. air conditioning it's not working in this room and it's hot <laughs> oh it's hot
they're all so great. It's hard to pick which one, honestly. It's like picking a favorite child. You can't pick a favorite child. It's that one. It's for me, it's this one. All right. I love you too. Just love her more. <laughs> I know I'm gonna get a question in the comments, like how many scan and cuts do you have? That is a needs to know question you don't needs to know. But lots.